Hello, and welcome to the Bartender Video Tutorials. In this video, we are going to introduce you to working with data sources in Bartender. A data source is used to bring information into an object on your template. Bartender provides a number of different ways to populate your document with information. You can type data directly into an object or pull data from another source, such as your computer's clock, your printer, or an external database. Here we have a bartender document for a fitness club membership card. If we take a quick glance at the toolbox, we can see right away that we have a number of data sources available to us in Bartender. If we right-click on the text object and select Properties, the Text Properties window opens. You will notice that the window is separated into two sections. On the left, we have the various properties of the object, and at the bottom of that list, where it says Data Sources, we can see the existing data sources in the object. To add a new data source to an existing object, we go down to this toolbar at the bottom of the Properties panel and click on the Add New Data Source icon. You can see that we have a field for name that allows us to name the data source by clicking on the icon to the right of it. We'll call this data source Member Number. When we click OK, we can see that the newly named data source now appears in the Bartender toolbox under Named Data Sources. Underneath the Name field, we have another field for Type. In the Type field, it says Embedded Data, with the same blue icon as the sample text. Embedded Data is our first type of data source, and the Bartender default data source for any object you put on your template. Simply put, Embedded Data is whatever you choose to type into an object. Of course, we have other data source options in addition to Embedded Data. By clicking the icon next to the Type field, we can access the other types of data sources. In the Change Data Source Type wizard, we can look at the available data sources by clicking on the Type drop-down menu. The Clock data source pulls information directly from your computer system's clock or from your printer's clock. Database field, External File, and Global Data field are ways to bring in information from files outside of Bartender. The Object Value data source uses another object on your template to populate its information. The Print Job field data source allows you to obtain data about a print job, such as page numbers, application versions, or document comments, and inserts it into an object on your template. The Visual Basic Script data source is used for advanced applications, such as producing final data for a text or barcode object by processing data from one or more data sources. The Printer Code Template Field data source is used to specify that an object will receive its data from an external print system. Link to an existing named data source allows us to use an existing named data source from our list of named data sources. For our example, we'll stick with the embedded data source. In the text box labeled Embedded Data, you see the words Sample Text, which appears on the template when we place the object. If we simply change the text, whatever we type will be what populates that object. You will notice that sample text has been replaced with the number we just typed on our document template. The icon with the Greek letter omega on it next to the embedded data text box is the insert symbols or special characters icon. When you click on this icon, you open up a new window that allows you to choose from all kinds of special characters and control characters. Let's take a quick look at the next tab, data type. For every data source, you can designate what type of data Bartender allows in that source. The default setting for our embedded data source is text, but we have the option to set the type to be a date, time, number, currency, percentage, fraction, binary, or picture. For our purposes, we'll stay with text. The next tab over is the Transforms tab. Transforms are tools that allow you to transform the data in your data source. We will spend more time on transforms in other videos. To quickly recap, in this video we showed you how data sources are used to populate objects in your document with data. A data source can be a clock, from external data sources, your printer, VB script, or embedded data that you type directly into Bartender. You can alter the data within an object by changing the data type or using transforms. If you still have questions about data sources, consult the Bartender Help System or check out our other videos. Thank you for watching.